Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. You know, during our group live session that we do here on the weekends, a lot of questions about curb holes, pop-ups, using a catch basin for the discharge. And there's a lot of talk about, oh, you can't do that in our city, in our county. You know what? You can do this in your city and your county. You may need to pull a permit, but you can do this. The county's there to help you, not to stop you. So if you put a curb hole in, then you've got really good gravity discharge. In other words, a pop-up or catch basin is turning that line upwards from three to four, maybe even five inches up. You lost all the fall that you were trying to keep as you brought your drain from the back, whether it be a downspout, a French drain, or a sump pump line, either one. Some people put a catch basin at the end of the line for the discharge. Look how much fall you lost using a catch basin. This is six inches of fall that you lost from the backyard to the street. I'm not saying a pop-up doesn't work, but when you have a very level line and trying to keep and maintain the fall from the backyard to the street, look at what happens. You lose all the fall right away. Much better is to drill the curb hole. So many questions about what's the best discharge. Should you use a pop-up? Should you use a catch basin? Should you core the curb? You know, there is no correct answer. It's really your preference. As long as you've got a good working system, they all work great. Do we use pop-ups? Of course. If a customer asks us, you know, we want to put a pop-up here, then we'll do that. Take a look. Here's a short clip, just a few seconds long, where we've installed a pop-up. We're discharging out here at a pop-up drain. If you remember what a pop-up is, a pop-up emitter. Water comes down the line, and then it lifts up this little lid and disperses across the area. Pop-ups work okay, not too well in a level yard. It would have been nicer if we could have went and cored through this curb right here, because then we'd have four more inches of fall to help that water escape. You know, we always explain to the customer that a curb hole is recommended over a pop-up. And sometimes they'll say, well, we have a half round curb. That's not a problem. Let me show you how we fix that. So out here at the curb, we're gonna go ahead and make a small V cut. Notice that you can see the expansion in the curb right there where you know they've already cut the concrete so that if it freezes or whatever, it can not crack. We'll use that as one side of the V and then we'll make just wide enough for that pipe and let that water come straight out to the street. You're going to be making three cuts in the concrete. The first cut is the angle that will make the triangle that you're going to put in. The second cut will be right on the expansion. And then you need a third cut right in the center so that when you use your pry bar, it'll just pop right out of there. And the reason that we're cutting the curb here is because it's a half round curb. If you live here in the south, you're very used to this type of curb. We like to bring the water all the way out to the street so it can discharge into the curb and down into the storm drain where it belongs. So now if you've made your cuts properly, you should be able to take your pry bar and just hit it a couple times inside these cracks and pop it right out of there. There's your first piece and there's your second piece. Let me bring the camera over here and you can see what it looks like. You can see a perfectly cut V. That pipe will go right there to the end. We'll just clean it out and that water will come right out here to the street. Not only is this a clean and aesthetically looking cut, it's perfectly acceptable for almost all cities, counties, and HOAs. And if you live up north and worried about the freeze, or maybe you've watched or listened to somebody else's channel saying that this is so illegal that you cannot do this. The county says this. I promise you that this is legal. You know, I've given hundreds and hundreds of live help all through Chicago, through Detroit, in Wisconsin, Minneapolis, all these northern cities. 
and I asked the customer, the homeowner, to go outside. Let's take a look at the street and see if there's curb holes. Granted, you might live in an HOA or a city or a municipality that they don't want that water coming out on the street. If that's the case, sure, you have to put up a pop-up. There's no other choice. But by far, the best discharge for your French drain, downspout drain, is going to be a curb hole, the best gravity drain there is. And do you remember how long it took me to cut this little V? I think that was a minute and 40 seconds I let the video run. So it might have been three minutes. But it's something that you, the homeowner, can do and make that French drain, downspout drain, discharge properly. Here's an example where we started off putting a pop-up on the other side of the sidewalk. The county came by and said, hey, we want you to core that curb and let that water come out. The reason why is that here in Florida, the groundwater, look at that groundwater. This is groundwater. <laughs> you can see it. It is just everywhere, and it's totally trapped by the curb. So they wanted us to just relieve that. At the same time, we could bring our discharge out. Again, there are times that you cannot go to the street. This is a sump pump discharge to give you that example. So hopefully I've given you the good examples of how and when to use your pop-up and always remember try to do the core or cut the curb that is absolutely the best discharge for any rainwater drainage system that water goes out to the curb the curb the street sends it to the storm drain where it's supposed to go in the live help group which meets every weekend it is a free questions and answers a lot of questions a lot of good questions most of the questions are actually very simple they're all looking for the easiest way to install the French drain. So I just kind of posted a little piece of video here. Sometimes it is not easy to install a French drain, and you just have to do whatever it takes to get that drain down in the ground. So finally on this video, I have to go ahead and post someone's comments and how they were talking about burrito wraps. And I'm just going to go ahead and let, this is from the live help questions and answers. He just wanted to share his information, and I think it's pretty pertinent to a lot of things that are going on and a lot of questions that we have. So take a look and listen, and you can make your own decisions. Well, I got over 300 feet of that, 348 feet of uh, Mr. Drain Man's pipe and the burrito wrap and everything out of the ground. And what a chore, but at least I get to save the rock this time. <laughs> and that other guy that had the basement there, I mean, my my old French drain was over 25 years old before the roots grew in and all that. Um, but I do want to say that it cracks me up because sometimes a YouTube video, when you watch one, it keeps playing other ones. And some people say don't that you got to wrap the pipe because stuff won't go through it. And then he has a video just recently saying that, oh, if stuff gets in there, it'll come out. This is over six to 10 inches deep in less than a year. I don't know if you can see the roots from the grass, but yeah. I mean, that's less than a year and that's six to 10 inches under grade for all the grass to grow through. And I spent probably triple the money on that yellow pipe. And of course I paid probably 400, $500 worth of that stupid fabric. <laughs> and I haven't put any fabric back down 25 years ago. I never put fabric down and it worked great. I mean, if roots are going to grow through, they're going to grow through. But if I had to do it all over again, and I'd tell everybody, do not use that <laughs> real thing. Because when I pulled it out of the ground, it was amazing. Because what I did is I wrapped straps around it and lifted it up with the tractor. Oh, good the idea. Percolated. Within five minutes, I had six, six seven inches of water in the, in the ditch. Yeah. So that fabric was holding back all that water. I mean, for the last year, I've had a pond in my backyard. I used your idea with the catch basins, and that area of my yard is dry. Yeah. It's my yard that used to be dry since this stupid fabric thing. I mean, it, it was a pond back there, and I'm just totally – I was amazed that once I lifted up that burrito, whatever you want to call it, the water just 
flowed through the soil. <laughs> it filled up that trench so fast. I just, I can't believe that that fabric holds back that much water. It, it really does. And, you know, Bob's idea, and I don't want to, I, I, we, we kind of have this thing going on. I have no idea, you know, but it, his ideas are good and he gives good advice. He really does. But the, the fabric thing, I, I disagree with. I mean, I totally disagree with, just as you found out, you know, I dig up systems and replace them too, but I don't usually knock the people that put them in, you know? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, and, and I wouldn't knock him if it didn't work. I mean, I, you know, I'm not here to, if right. you can't say something nice, don't say nothing at all, you know? Right. But, and I, and I kind of laughed about your chucking a truck <laughs> thing, but I mean, we all know what a donkey is. <laughs> and I'd rather listen to Chuck in a truck than a donkey selling me trash. And it, it rhymes with trash. Yeah. But I mean, I am so mad because I had to, I paid someone to stop in Michigan. I think it was Michigan. He got it from to buy all that pipe, buy all that fabric because I thought it was a great thing. Yeah. And it's caused me nothing but aggravation since I put it in the ground. I mean, I, I am using the pipe again, you know, I mean, yeah, granted, maybe those extra holes will let more water go and where I've re put it in the ground. I mean, it's working great without the fabric there. Yeah. Just a real, a real a lesson, lesson learned. Yeah. A real quick note, you know, there's lots of PVC, the thin wall PVC that has three holes at the bottom. Most places have two, but the three holes, you know, the, the I think they're three quarter inch. The, the amount of water that comes into that pipe is 10 times more than all the slotted mm -hmm. pipe, 10 yep. times more. But on the most part, I, I guess the biggest thing that, that I try to explain to people is that when it rains, you're never going to beat Mother Nature. It doesn't matter. But when it rains, it may, no matter what system you have, it may flood for a few minutes, but when it stops raining, that water should disappear. Mm -hmm. And if it doesn't, then something's wrong. I mean, that's, that's the biggest, biggest thing of all. But um, yeah, I mean, it, I, it's interesting. It's interesting. And, and sorry, and my that original, to... my original French drain was, you know, 350 feet of that PVC pipe with the holes, you know, drilled in the bottom. That's all we had back then. And, yeah. and I just, I don't know. I, I don't want to keep saying, don't use that fabric, <laughs> but I, I am so aggravated. I mean, it, I think it was more work trying to take that burrito out of the ground than digging the trench to begin with because I was trying to save all the rocks so I wouldn't have to buy rock again. Yeah, yeah. That is, is interesting, but I'm glad that you shared the story because – Yeah, that's – I wanted to share it with everybody so they, you know, I don't want to see anybody else waste time. I mean, I've watched recent videos on YouTube where some people just did it, and it's like you're just going to dig it back up again. I mean, yeah. I don't – Maybe some of his drains work. I don't know, but it sure doesn't work in my backyard. I mean, I, I have mostly ledge and, and uh, loam um, because there used to be cattle that used to be here, you know, 100 years ago. So, I mean, I have a good three feet of loam, Got good you fall. Know, not sand. Yeah. So, I mean, it definitely doesn't work. Okay. You know? But thank well, you very much. Yeah, stay in there, Dave. I'll, I'll talk to you here in a little bit more again. Um, somebody else got a question. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.